Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? Gridlock traffic in Uptown Paphos. We are on the road coming from Tremethusa, coming from Tala, and we've just joined the main road, which is from Paphos to Polis. At these traffic lights, if we go left, we would go uphill towards Sesada. If you kept going, you'd end up in Polis. But we're not going left, we're going right, and we're going to head down the main Masui Avenue which is a road, if you're not familiar with the travel, which has all the big car dealerships and big electrical shops and in general furniture shops, those kind of things. If you're looking for something of a big purchase, the odds are you're gonna find it on Masoi Avenue. So, what have we got? A bit of painting and decorating there on the left-hand side. Atlas Coffee Shop is on the right-hand side. That's my favorite coffee shop. Come here probably four or five times a day. I am exaggerating, two times a day. Well, maybe three times, I don't know. But I go there quite a lot and it is one of my favorite, favorite coffee shops. It's got a nice, relaxed atmosphere. And that's where I meet one of my great, great friends. And he's one of our family members. That's how we first met. His name is Sir Philip. He lives all the way up in Kamara's village. He's a little bit posh, you know. He comes from, uh, well, somewhere on the Thames, on the outskirts of London. He's got a beauty of a wife, that's Lady Sita. And of course, son called Alexander and of course we meet up now and again he goes across the road and puts a little bit of a flutter onto the Cypriot lottery and so far we've won quite a few times but unfortunately we only ever win one euro 50 which is a bit of a shame because uh, we're looking forward to a big win one of these days shall we say you may have noticed that it's a little bit gloomy the sky is not looking that blue reason for that is we're having one of these sandy storms again we do get them this time of year coming in off the Sahara Desert and of course they steal that little bit of blueness from the sky but if you look very carefully in the distance over the treetops and over the rooftops that is the blue 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 Mediterranean Sea and that's looking pretty blue Mr. Paul he's dressed head to toe in blue so that must mean one thing all that is missing is you so come on get yourself on a big bird or a canoe start paddling like crazy because Paphos, Cyprus, Marika and me we're waiting especially for you and we really really are I want to do a big big shout out to some of the stars that like to come and watch the show and again and they leave some comments that tickle us if your name's Mr Mark thank you for commenting and we'll look forward to meeting you and your 82 year old mum on her first visit to downtown Paphos and yes pop along to KDB Scooters have a word with them make sure those magic words Marika and me and I'm pretty sure you'll be getting a very good discount and you'll enjoy your day whizzing around the pit of Paphos promenade and harbour area but please don't run us over I'm the idiot in the blue hat with a pair of sunglasses and I've always got a blonde beauty standing right next to me. I'd like to do a big, big shout out and a big thank you to our latest superstars of the channel. Via Buy Me A Coffee, some guys have joined us at 10 euros a month. That's all it costs to get yourself that special title, to get yourself that little bit closer to Marika and me. Special privileges and of course the Marika and me privilege card. Who am I talking about? Lady Joanne and of course Sir Baz, welcome to the channel and we'll look forward to seeing you when you come to Paphos. Some of our previous Superstar members may feel they've been forgotten. You haven't. If your name is Sir Stuart Frampton, we thank you from the bottom of our two hearts. If you're in downtown Clan Gotland and your name is Sir Michael Crompton, we thank you from the bottom of our two hearts. We really, really do. And of course, the girl in charge of the show. She's not only a superstar member, but on top of that, she likes to gift us that virtual coffee or two. And we thank you very, very much. That's our day man. And of course, she will be clicking the heels and wiggling and waggling in and around Hartlepool with Sir Peter. And of course, that favourite doggy woggy of mine called Miss Purdy. She's my favourite. I named my car the Jaguar after her. Well, actually, that's not true. I actually named the Jaguar after Purdy from the new Avengers, if you remember. Yes, Joanna Lumley, one of the most beautiful women in the world. And luckily for me, I won the heart of probably the most beautiful woman in the world. And of course, that's Miss Archin Grisivia Booth. 
Her real name is Marika, as we all know. Even Mark from Yarmouth now understands that Ochin Vasilia Labouf is her stage name. And what does that mean, by the way, if you're curious to know? Well, Ochin means very. Gracivia means beautiful and La Bouffe means love. So in plain simple English, her stage name is Miss Very Beautiful Love or Miss Ochin Gracivia La Bouffe. My goodness, we're stuck in gridlock traffic again. Now, I warn you now, at these traffic lights, if you start to look carefully, you see grey things over yonder on the left behind the black things that go from yellow to green to amber and those black things are dull and gloomy but now and again if you're a naughty boy or a naughty girl they're gonna flash you and I don't mean take their raincoat off no they're gonna flash a camera at you and take a picture of you if you cross the white line if you go through on amber if you go through on red what's the world coming to and then you have to go on the internet and you have to pay the fine and of course the governments around the world get to rub their palms together because yet again they taxed us that little bit more. Anyway, Mr Andy, Lord Andy to be precise, in downtown Shropshire, and Lady Ness, the rant is over. Little, if you want some nice croissants, is on the right-hand side, and if you want a good MOT, that's on the left-hand side there. What else have we got coming up? Just over yonder, we've got one of the best supermarkets in Midtown Patmos. It used to be called Carrefour, got into trouble, and rebranded itself and came back as Skevenides. There it is, written up in Greek. I think we just call it Carrefour. It was much easier, wasn't it? Yeah, here we are. Frenchy. Right, what have we got here? Zorbus the Bakery coming up on the right hand side. You want some money? There's the Hellenic Bank. They've done very well, apparently. They've made more than 300 million euros in profit in the last quarter. So, if you want a couple of bob, get yourself a pickaxe handle, a balaclava, I've got one in the boot if you want to borrow it, pop in there on a Monday, because they're all a bit gloomy, and say, hey, give us some money. On the other side, they'll chuck you 10,000 or so, chump change to them, obviously. What else is coming up? Well, if you want to buy a very, very expensive bed and a very, very expensive mattress, on the left-hand side, that could be the shop for you. I've never seen anybody go in there, but one assumes that, uh, well, there must be the odd person who can afford to buy a mattress or two. Perhaps if you're from downtown in Nice in the south of France and you're relocating to Paphos very, very soon indeed. Perhaps if your name's Sir Arnaldo and there's a French beauty in your life called Lady Sylvie, perhaps that could be that perfect, perfect place for you to go and spend some of your spondoolies from all of your trading. What else have we got? A supermarket on the right with no name. Well, it's actually got a name over there, but it's all in the Greeklish, so it's called the supermarket with no name to foreigners. What else is coming up on this road? We've got butcheries. Anything you can want is in this area of Paphos, by the way. So, like I say, if your name is Sir Aldo, you've got a beauty in your life called Lady Sylvie, and you're living up into Sadder very, very soon. All you've got to do is roll down the hill in eco mode, get all you want, and then boot it on the way home, sit by your pool, Look out over the green hills and out into the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And you never know, a dream of coming to meet Marika and me. The new Papa John's, if you like a bit of pizza in your life, there it is on the left-hand side. Who do you think makes the best pizza? Is it Papa John's? Is it Pizza Hut? Or is it Domino's? We all know that Lady Andrea, she likes a sausage in her mouth. But now and again, she's out and about with some art and they go for pizza and they always choose Domino's. At the moment, I'm off Domino's. I might go and try Papa John's and give my opinion. Because he always says in the adverts, doesn't he, that they use the best, freshest ingredients. Now, we know he's probably lying, but you never know. I might go and try it. If you want some sportswear, there's a nice sports shop, mega shop actually. I can't say it. Nati Tiotta there. Yeah, whatever. It's there on the left hand side. If you want a Peugeot or a Honda, well, I don't know about the Peugeot, but a Honda's a good car, isn't it? Pop in and see Marios in there, and I'm sure he'll have a good, good rummage in your wallet. But uh, you'll end up with a good car. Well, as long as you don't buy a Peugeot, obviously. Not that they're that bad anymore. Well, I don't know. The uh, jury is out, isn't it? Right, technically now we're entering the old town. You may have noticed the buildings are getting smaller, they're getting older, and some of them have 
fallen down or even been knocked down, who knows, but there's less of them than there used to be. Technically, this is the Papos Old Town and we are going to keep on going through, get to the traffic lights and then we're going to head out to the municipality area where all the main municipality council offices and those kind of things are. And you never know, we might even get to meet the good Baru number one, the greatest mayor in the world. What's his name? Fredonis. He hangs around in that area quite often and parks his brand new black Mercedes on double yellow lines, often on the wrong side of the road, often just up from a busy track lights and across to some chevrons outside of school. But hey, he can do whatever he wants because he is the greatest mayor in the world and possibly the next president of Cyprus. So we need to keep on his good side, don't we? Otherwise, he'll be uh, taking his blue suit jacket off. He likes to wear blue and beating us with a truncheon or something. No, no, that's not his job. That's Captain Stavros's job. And he's a very good friend of his. Anyway, what's around here? Petrol station, having a refurb, but having some new tanks fitted. So you can't check the price of benzene in there today. Bank of Cyprus over there. And uh, that's my favorite, favorite branch because that's where my account is. I often go in there and they often chuck me out because I haven't got any money. But that's life, isn't it? That's life. Anyway, on that note, if you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe. Don't forget to keep coming back for a little bit more of my complete and utter madness. And while you're at it, why not go and hunt us down on the Buy Me Coffee platform? That's where you could gift us that virtual coffee or two as a thank you, as a gesture of goodwill. And of course, to keep us motivated to make these videos, especially for you. You should also join us as a superstar member like Lady Joanne and of course Lord Baz or you could even help us out by YouTube itself in the comments you can comment it doesn't cost you a penny hit the like doesn't cost you a penny subscribe doesn't cost you a penny but also you can also use the thanks button that's the heart shaped button with a dollar sign in the middle and that's how you can gift us a couple of bob via YouTube we'd like to thank one or two people who do if your name is Sir David Potter, thank you very, very much. If your name is Lord Damon Ritchie, thank you very, very much. And of course, the guy who likes to be first at absolutely everything he does, and that is Sir Niels. Thank you very, very much indeed. Thanks for watching, and of course, I'll see you again very, very soon indeed, somewhere in and around Paphos. This is Kennedy Square, by the way. On an evening, especially on a Thursday, Friday, and a Saturday, this place comes alive and every local and his cat and his dog comes out and all the bars and restaurants have a music competition to see who can bust your eardrums the quickest. Anyway, there's a lot going on in the old town, a lot of refurbishment as it comes online. We will go and make some videos especially for you. Stick with us. When the lights change to green, we will be in the main municipality area and you never know, the great man himself might be parked up in his brand new black Mercedes, courtesy of the municipality of Paphos. In other words, the ratepayers of Paphos. I tell you, if you want to come back, come back as a politician. Well, there's a car park where he parks it, but I don't think it's his car. Why do I say that? It's only a Hyundai, so that can't be his car, can it? No, that must be the deputy mayor or something like that. Thanks for watching. Of course, I'll see you again very, very soon, indeed. I think I'll drink this nice hot latte coffee. Thank you, Chief Constable of Police, Ronnie Miller. You're a star. See you again very, very soon, indeed.